Before you even think about buying another desktop or upgrading your setup, stop for a second, because something massive is coming. The Apple M5 Mac Mini is on the horizon, and it could change everything we know about compact computing. But what if the rumors you've been hearing aren't telling the full story? What if this tiny metal box hides a revolutionary secret that could make even the latest Macs feel outdated overnight? The M5 Mac Mini isn't just another update, it's the machine that might redefine the entire Mac lineup. Apple is staying unusually quiet about it, which makes one thing certain, this is no ordinary refresh. It's a potential game changer for creators, professionals, and anyone who wants the power of a workstation in a small, silent form. Welcome to the deep dive into what could be Apple's most surprising desktop launch yet. Let's start with the heart of the machine, the M5 chip. For years, the Mac Mini has been the quiet workhorse, offering great performance at a lower cost. But the M5 changes everything. Forget small speed bumps. Industry insiders say we could be looking at performance gains so extreme they feel almost unfair compared to the M4. The key lies in Apple's next-generation neural engine, which is said to have up to 20 cores dedicated to AI and machine learning tasks. That means this chip isn't just faster, it's smarter. Imagine real-time AI rendering, on-device video upscaling, lightning-fast image generation, and instant file indexing, all without sending data to the cloud. Apple's M5 chip is rumored to make AI tools run faster locally than some GPUs can manage externally. If you're a designer, video editor, developer, or anyone who relies on creative software, this upgrade could change your workflow forever. Apple is reportedly designing the M5 not just for performance, but for efficiency, processing more tasks while consuming less energy and producing minimal heat. And that brings us to the next big question, design. The Mac Mini has looked the same for nearly a decade, but leaks suggest Apple might finally give it a redesign worthy of its new power. Reports mention two versions, a standard M5 Mac Mini and a Pro variant. The Pro model might have a slightly taller chassis with a darker aluminum body, possibly featuring new cooling vents or a top plate that doubles as a heatsink. Why? Because the M5 Pro and M5 Max chips, both rumored for this model, will demand more cooling capacity. Some insiders even claim Apple may introduce a silent heat dissipation design that allows the system to handle desktop-level performance without fans ramping up. If true, this could create a desktop that's quieter than any other high-performance PC in its class. The M5 Pro Mac Mini could rival the Mac Studio while being half its size and significantly cheaper, potentially making the Studio redundant for most users. Connectivity is another major area getting attention. The new M5 Mac Mini is expected to feature Thunderbolt 5, which doubles data bandwidth compared to Thunderbolt 4, opening up possibilities for 8K displays, faster SSD access, and seamless multi-monitor setups. Add to that HDMI 2.1, finally bringing native 4K at 120Hz and even 8K support, and possibly Wi-Fi 7, delivering near-zero latency for creative cloud collaboration, streaming, and remote editing. But Apple might keep some of these high-end ports exclusive to the Pro model, meaning users will have to decide if those upgrades are worth the extra cost. There's also speculation that the Pro version could include dual Ethernet ports, more Thunderbolt connections, and maybe even an SD card slot for professionals. Now, the biggest question buyers will face, which version to buy? The base M5 Mac Mini will still be an incredible desktop for most users, expected to start around $699, It'll likely match or even surpass last year's Mac Studio in raw CPU performance while using less power. But the M5 Pro Mac Mini is a whole different story, designed for video editors, 3D artists, and coders working with heavy data models. It's rumored to feature double the performance cores, up to 128G of unified memory, and a much higher memory bandwidth. That means you could run multiple 4K video streams, massive renders, or machine learning projects all at once without breaking a sweat. The Pro model could start around $1,499, placing it dangerously close to MacBook Pro pricing, but delivering far better long-term performance for desktop setups. Apple's strategy is clear. Tempt everyday users with the base model, but push power users toward the pricier Pro. However, the biggest reason to care about this release isn't just performance, it's Apple intelligence. The M5 chip is built to be the engine of Apple's new AI ecosystem. This means your Mac mini won't just be a computer, It'll be a personal AI hub. Imagine real-time transcription, summarization, and image generation happening locally, 
with no data sent to Apple servers. You'll be able to create AI-powered visuals, automate tasks, and control your Apple ecosystem instantly and securely. This is Apple's way of taking on AI PCs from Microsoft and Intel, offering privacy-focused power that keeps everything on your machine. The Mac Mini M5 is being designed as the desktop heart of this transformation, integrating perfectly with devices like the Vision Pro, iPhone 17, and M5 MacBook Pro. When compared to Windows desktops, the M5 Mac Mini is expected to dominate in performance per watt and silence. Building a PC with the same power would cost more, take more space, and generate more noise and heat. Even compared to Apple's own lineup, the M5 Mac Mini could disrupt everything. It could offer 95% of the M5 MacBook Pro's performance for much less money, and nearly the same muscle as the Mac Studio in a smaller, quieter form factor. If Apple truly brings M5 Pro and M5 Max chips to the Mini, the Studio's role in the lineup might shrink dramatically. As for the release date, it's still a mystery. Some reports point to late 2025, while others say early to mid-2026. Apple's strategy usually prioritizes its laptops, so the M5 MacBook Air and MacBook Pro may launch first, with the Mac Mini following shortly after. If you own an M1 or older model, waiting will definitely be worth it. The jump in performance and AI capability will be massive. But if you have an M2 or M4 Mac Mini, only the M5 Pro version will justify the upgrade. The base M5 might not offer enough change to warrant replacing your current setup. So here's the bottom line. The M5 Mac Mini could become Apple's most important desktop in years. It's shaping up to be a silent powerhouse that blends next-level AI computing, high-end performance, and future-proof connectivity in a design that's compact yet professional. Apple's desktop revolution might begin not with the Mac Studio or Mac Pro, but with this small machine that proves size doesn't define capability. The M5 Mac Mini could be the smartest, most efficient, and most powerful small desktop ever made, marking a new chapter in Apple's hardware story. Now, here's the question. If you had to choose just one highlight, Thunderbolt 5, the new AI-focused M5 chip, or the rumored Pro design, which would you pick and why? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next wave of Apple M5 news, leaks, and full deep dives when the official reveal drops. The future of the desktop is smaller, smarter, and faster than ever, and it begins with the M5 Mac Mini.